It's Kennedy Simone here and I am back again with another video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to be a part of Ken's crew because we're the best crew so today as you can tell from the title it's going to be some do's and don'ts for incoming college freshmen so this is the ultimate college advice of what you should and should not do when you're going to college okay so definitely stay tuned if you want to know what those are it's some good ones so definitely Stay tuned. Also, after this video, I want you guys to check out my college advice playlist. It has over 50 videos of a lot of different things, a lot of different topics, whether that be how to make friends, how to pay for college, how to get scholarships, what you should and should not bring to your dorm room, dorm room ideas. All of those videos are in that playlist and more. So definitely check that out after this video. I am a rising senior at Spelman College. So I have a freshman, sophomore, and junior year blogs of my college experience on a playlist. It has over 50 videos as well. So definitely binge watch those if you guys, you know, need some more college advice or want to see the Spelman experience or HBCU experience or just college advice and college experience in general. So definitely check those out if you're interested in this one. You're most likely going to be interested in my other videos. So definitely check them out. Other than that, let's just get right into the video. So this is in no particular order. I'm just going to be going back and forth, back and forth. And I'm using my phone because I kind of wrote them down. So one of the do's is stay organized. Whether that be with your academics, whether that be with your extracurriculars. Just try to stay organized and don't overbook yourself. Don't say yes to everything where you don't even have any room on your schedule to study. So definitely just make sure you're organized. I would highly recommend you getting a calendar to put on your wall or put on your desk and use a planner. You know, just try to keep as organized as possible because it's gonna be a lot of different things on your plate that you're gonna wanna keep, you know, organized and in order. So one of the don'ts is, you know, one we all hate, so one we all do for the most part, is procrastination. Do not procrastinate. I know it's hard, it's easier said than done. You know, I have some problems with this sometimes, but I'm working on it and I want you guys to work on it with me as well. So don't procrastinate, it's just gonna make things a lot harder in the long run. It's just a habit sometimes. So just try to break that habit as much as you can because college is not the place to procrastinate. Things are just fast paced. Chop, chop, chop. You gotta get things done and out the way. So, yeah. So, another do for incoming college freshmen is find your classes before the first day. You don't wanna be on the first day, never have found your classes. Yeah, I've taken a tour, but it's different because you might not know where the exact room is. So, definitely just make sure before the first day, maybe the night before or the week before, or whatever the case is, whenever you get your schedule, go with a couple friends even and that'll be a bonding experience and how to make new friends so yeah just try to find your classes go to each single class and make sure you know exactly where it is because you don't want to be lost and late the first day because then you're probably gonna have a back seat you're not gonna be able to mingle with your classmates before the class starts your teacher gonna think you're a late girl all the time you know you don't want none of that you don't want no problems you don't want no problems so just try to find your classes the first day trust me it saves a lot of time it saves so much time so a don't do not forget about your friends and family back at home you think they just disappeared once you went to college no so definitely try to keep in touch with them i had a little trouble doing this and balancing my social life at school and my extracurriculars and homework and classes and then trying to balance my relationship and communication back at home with my friends and family. So definitely, you know, learn from my mistakes. Keep in touch with your family and friends back home because they're always going to be there for you. They're your home base. They're your, your ride or dies, okay? They're always going to have good saying advice where, you know, you're not clouded by the judgments of people at school. So definitely, you know, keep in touch with them. At least once a week, try to keep in touch with some people back at home. So a do, say no sometimes. It's okay, I know sometimes it gets overwhelming. You wanna be involved, but you don't wanna be overwhelmed. So definitely say no sometimes, you can say no. Definitely don't feel like you have to go to every single event, every single party, especially if you feel overwhelmed. Like if you feel overwhelmed, take a step back, do a little woo-saw, maybe skip that party. I don't know, order some 
food that'll make you feel better. I don't know. Do what makes you feel happy and makes you feel less overwhelmed and more calm um so say no sometimes you don't have to go out every weekend even though i know it's tempting because college you never you know had that freedom before for the most part just try to take a step back i would highly suggest you be involved and go to as many events as you can but you you know when to say no so say no when you need to say no so don't stay in your comfort zone don't do that because when you're in your comfort zone that means you're only going to talk to people that are like your friends at home or they look like this or they act like this or they're in this club or they have this gba don't do that because you're going to limit yourself you're going to limit your growth and the people you hang around is a reflection of you so if you're hanging around people that doesn't elevate you what you doing sis college is literally like a place for so much growth so much evolution of yourself so i would say get out of that comfort zone i know sometimes it's hard especially if you're a shy person i know college is probably like scary for you or a scary thought but i was a shy person as well like when i went to college i went to spelman in atlanta georgia i didn't know anybody <laughs> at spelman for the most part i knew some people that i met during spellbound which is admitted students day which you guys probably didn't get a chance to do if you are an incoming college freshman. College classes of 2024, I know y'all are probably like, I don't even have that experience to even go by, but I would highly suggest you just go in with an open mind. Everybody's on the same playing field. I know some people are from like LA or Chicago or Texas or Philly or, you know, popular places that a lot of people are from, but it's okay if you're not. It's okay, like me. I didn't know anybody from my hometown. I didn't know anybody from where I'm from. So, you know, I just had to go in and open mind and just try to be as friendly as possible. Um, I just naturally have a friendly spirit, but I am shy. So it kind of like, you know, it balances out. But yeah, I just had to go in and just like, I'm going to make some friends today. Like, I'm going to reach out to people. I'm gonna talk to this girl beside me that I, haven't spoke to before I've never seen in my life I'm just gonna be you know you just have to tell yourself and maybe you have to do a daily mantra of I will make friends I will be outgoing I will do this I will do that you know because it is hard I know for a lot of you guys college is hard making new friends is hard that's just a fact of life from pretty much everybody you know and if you don't have that problem congrats I'm not like you a lot of us aren't like you just step out of your comfort zone whether that be with making new friends whether that be joining new clubs or organizations that you haven't thought of joining or that be like i did join the stroll team become a hall queen do whatever that you feel like will be a good experience and a new experience for you because at the end of the day if you grow from it then it's all a positive thing so another do ask for help your professors your classmates financial aid counselors there's a lot of resources on campus for you so definitely don't neglect it take advantage of it take advantage of all the resources one of my favorite parts about Spelman is the resources the endless resources whether that be people whether that be the emails we get of scholarships to apply for or internship opportunities or research opportunities we literally have so many opportunities that we literally have no excuse you know we have no excuse because they give so many resources to us so definitely check out all of the resources that your college campus has for you whether that be events whether that be graduate school events or medical school events or anything like that just make sure you're taking advantage of the resources that your college provides to you a don't and i feel like i talked about this in a few of my other college advice videos but don't buy the textbook from your school bookstore there's websites like chick and i don't know amazon prime maybe probably have like different affordable resources where you can buy the books either use or you can buy an e-version you can even rent books you know for a semester or however long you're going to need it so definitely just make sure you're not buying the textbook new from the bookstore you can probably find it somewhere else and if you can't so like spelman we had an adw book that you know it's only specific to spelman our certain curriculum a certain book that was written by a spelman college professor you know so 
those kind of things you might have to buy but at least that'll be one book and not like your whole book list of everything that you need to buy also another pro tip don't purchase anything regarding a textbook before the first day of class because unless they tell you in the syllabus buy this before the first day or have this before the first day if they don't say that then wait till you go to class and they'll tell you what books you need and what books you probably don't need and might just be like an optional book if you don't need it don't buy it okay so definitely wait till your professor says it if they don't say it ask them ask them if you need all of these books or if you need a certain book out of the book list because I know most of my professors they put like four and five books on the list and we don't need any of them they're just resources if we do need them like if we need extra help or we need a different version or a different explanation of something so that's only for those cases or we only need like one book so just try not to buy no books because they they rack up okay and if you can try to use your book voucher if you do have one i know i usually have a book voucher um so yeah try to use your book vouchers and all that kind of stuff try to get the lowest deals and steals and deals y'all know how to shop on a budget okay if you don't know you're gonna know it's real soon college broke is a different type of broke okay so you're gonna have to finesse and get the steals and deals so yeah so the last do is finish your work beforehand like do it well in advance because you never know what opportunities are going to arise like it might be a party your friends might want to go to or something you want to do on the weekend or an event pops up or you never know you never know you never know what's going to pop up in college literally things are so spur of the moment especially freshman year and when you're living on campus things just happen all the time so you never know what your friends want to go to or what you want to go to um, or what opportunities might arise so i would say try to get your homework or your work done in advance and if you can try to get them done before the weekend because the weekend you kind of want to have to yourself to relax to chill to hang out with your friends to meet new people to go to events to go to social events parties all that kind of stuff so try to just not procrastinate <laughs> and try to finish your work early because it just saves a lot of time you can always go back and double check your work and stuff like that it makes your life to be so much easier i've implemented that at certain times throughout my college experience and it's literally been the best thing ever and when i don't do it i see the results i know it works and i know not using that method it, it doesn't work so yeah definitely make sure you get your work done in advance so the last don't is don't stay in your room i know freshman year can be hard if you don't make the friends right away or if you don't join the club that you wanted to join or you know different things like that still don't stay in your room all the time you won't be able to meet new people you won't be able to go to events or parties or different functions if you're in your room college is literally what you make it so if you want to stay in your room all the time your college experience is not going to be fun and so don't blame it on the college don't blame it on your friends don't blame it on anybody but yourself because if you stay in the room and don't mingle and meet new people and stuff like that it's gonna be sucky it is it's gonna be bad it's not gonna be fun class food and then back to your room like it's not gonna be fun that that is not what college is for so definitely make sure you are getting the full college experience college is more than just academics it is a full experience so make the most of your opportunities when you go to college i wish you guys the best y'all are about to be going to college mama ken is crying on the inside so yes i see my battery light is on so i'm gonna have to close this video out but yeah those are my five do's and don'ts of what you should not do or what you should do when you're an incoming college freshman so definitely like i said check out the description box and watch my college advice playlist it has over 50 videos and my college vlog playlist for my freshman sophomore and junior year and i will see you guys in my next one passion purpose prosper bye